Yeah, I can see what you right. mean by the music. Yeah, when you the meaning behind these um reports mean a lot more with this with this theme. Yep. All right, go ahead. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments caused the test subject's hearts to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile their hearts are. My treatments produced no signs of recovery. I confined those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Some time later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seemed born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has proved no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of t test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. Clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They've responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. God damn, this guy is really... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the Heartless become Heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It's just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? You don't freaking say! Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know, right now. To study heartless behavior, I picked one out for observation. It wiggled its antenna and, as if sensing a target, hit it deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, its antenna began vibrating as if searching for something. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm writing it this seriously. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large oh, oh, key what? It had a large keyhole, but it didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? The door is open. <laughs> oh boy. A oh wait, what is that what is that a quote to? What? The, the door. That sounds like something. I, I... The Riku said at the start of the game. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's uh, the doors open. Like that's a massive theme going on in this game. Mm -hmm. A massive core of energy lay be beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may well well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis. Based upon my ob observations of the Heartless, the Heartless feed on others' hearts. You said this thing before, and they yearn, right. <laughs> they yearn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart too, the heart of this world. There is no proof, but having felt that immense energy, I am certain that was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? Um, corrupt it, corrupt it, and turn it into a bunch of hoodlums. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ram it every reference. I, oh man, I didn't make the connection. Heart of the world? Oh man. Yeah. That's funny. So secretly, actually the Heartless do kind of look like hoodlums. Kind of. Anyways. I have now studied material from the meteors that rained down on that fateful night. What a find! The, ma <laughs> the material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? A lot of things you've been doing have been causing a lot of strange things. <coughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should keep going. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Stuff around with fruits. <laughs> I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this, of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow. 
but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. This sounds kind of familiar, like something Riku would say. Yeah, we still got a lot to go through, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there, there is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Yay, we know this already. Yeah. <laughs> the study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries, shrouding the heart. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research, research thus far. I think that's that machine that we saw in the end of the world before. That one that it's like that big thing about the darkness in the heart. Mm. That's the I, only thing I can think of. Yeah, I guess. Mm. The machine's test run successfully uh, created a heartless. This may be a step toward creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created heartless showed nearly identical traits, but the two types should remain distinct from, for the purposes of this experiment. So I will work the ones that are created artificially, even though uh, at the start of the game, one just appeared and already had a emblem on him. Uh, are you talking about Darkseid? No, no, no. Like, you know how in Traverse Town... Oh, that... right, that guy somehow it, it created an, uh, a, so a soldier. And he st already had an emblem, so... Namora! Uh, 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 Simply astonishing! G. Wilk is Batman! <laughs> <laughs> Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king, and his vessel was built out of, out of the material that, that composed the meteors. And what a bank account he had! <laughs> he called the pieces... Gummy Blocks. It seemed that my op opening that door has opened a path to... Inner world travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade to my to my safe. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. It has the entirety of Disney's uh, uh, fundings. <laughs> oh gosh. What legend says its wielder saved the world? Well, it never says that it that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I guess that's where also where like Trident got that little thing. Yeah. I must know what this Keyblade is. A key opens doors. No shit. It must be connected to that door I have opened. <laughs> oh man, I remember the SGP was like, uh, like, wow. <laughs> like, no, no crap report bringing, uh, brought to you by Ansem. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in a night nice sky. And deep within each, uh, each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts. Born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. Heart, 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 heart. heart, 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 heart. heart. Yeah, really? Yeah, the, the, yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. It's the core of... <laughs> this guy just keeps repeating himself. It's the core of the world's heart, the world of the heartless. I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My d body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. This I is the first time mentioning the princesses, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. I will become... <clears throat> Opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. So every time we, uh... We... So every time a world's devoured, we see a meteors. <laughs> and we just gaze in awe. Yeah. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of its collapse, the appearance of the heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. This guy really does not think about the uh, consequence of his actions. Nope. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a key using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. Better hope some boy doesn't do that. <laughs> I must take action before the wielder of his key appears in this world. This kind of makes you think that this is written a lot more recently. Yeah, and I mean, like, uh, this really t tells you that this is like, uh, this guy really needs to be stopped. It's like, um, he doesn't care what he has to do to reach his goals. <sighs> if the princesses and the keyboard are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. Yes. <coughs> I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. 
I shall set her free and observe. I think this is also when, like, oh, I think this is when Kyrie was taken from her world and brought to Destiny Islands. Oh, yeah, because, like, uh, yeah, she was originally um, a resident. Radiant Garden. Radiant Garden, and she moved. Right. The body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. Much is still unknown. Ah, funny. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts, the place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. Oh, oh yeah, that's, I bet that's the one in Kingdom Hearts too. <laughs> there are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between, wherein lies true Navina? I don't even know. Nirvana. It, mean, it, it, it basically, I think it basically means like uh, heaven or whatever. Mm. I'll, I'll look it up just to be sure, right? Right. And the uh, world in between is basically like worlds, say, like Castle Oblivion and stuff like that, I guess. Nirvana. Alright, one more to go. Right. Um, before we read that, I'm just gonna figure out the definition, right? Okay. See Nirvana, come on. English lessons with Harry and jo uh, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to call you Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Nirvana, let's see. Let's see, Bone now is in. This might be the wrong one here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Literally means Bone out is an oil lamp. The term Nirvana is mostly common Buddhism. Is, uh, I don't know what, what the. I think. I, let's see. How, let's see. All the is in it. It's the state of perfect quietude, freedom, ha highest happiness along with it. Mm. Alright then. Okay. All right, okay, here we go. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. But that is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists in another form in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, Here we abandoned go. by its heart, a mere shell of its former self. The, re the relation between the heart and, and body is complex. However, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition, the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, guys, I, uh, gotta go eat dinner. My mom's calling me. I'll write the other reports later. Okay, thanks, bye. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we did it. That's all. Um, that was kind of fun to do, actually. Yeah. As redundant as some of that text right, was. Save, right, let's save it here one more time. It's finally time to end this. Once you step through that door, it's a point of no return. So, do we have any? Do we need elixirs or anything? Oh. I think we're, yeah, we're good. No, yeah, uh, we didn't use a single wonder in a fight with um. Uh, yeah. Let's okay. Now we can customize ourselves to be a god again. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I wasn't even paying attention. Did we use, even use Zonketsuken in the fight? I don't think so, cause I don't think I ever uh, did a. Well, I don't think we're gonna need gravity break for this guy. So let's no. let's let's, leave, let's let's keep it with Zonketsuken. Um, yeah. scroll down. To the manage for many counter pass. Um, do you wanna have um one of your you want oh yeah, let's put on a different limit. Which one do you want? Um, I think Ragnar I think Ragnarok should be it because it's yeah. Sora. Yeah. Actually no, I think that's the only one we can use there and that's gonna be probably the more important ones. Yeah. Alright. I think Are we, we ready? I think so. Um Um, let's put on one air combo plus. Right. Oh yeah, because they're gonna be flying sessions. Yeah. I should probably put them both on. Alright. We're ready to go. Oh, customize. Okay. After our shortcuts. <laughs> uh Varga's fine. Uh, Varoga and uh, we're not gonna need Graviga, so Vandaga? Mm, I don't know what Ansem is uh effective to. Me either. Here we go. Huh? Did you hear something? No. <laughs> You're just tired, Sarah. Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. Yep. 
Beyond, there is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. That and your ultimate weapon. <laughs> Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. I don't hear anything. Strange, that voice was so familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe you better take a rest. Shut up, Donald. Well, uh, basically, but he's saying, but that's basically, no, that's him basically saying, take, in, get ready. Yeah, I know, I know, but, like, I mean, in terms of, like, the actual characters. Alright, this is it. Now that we're here, there's no turning back. Nope. Finally time. Also, the skies are still. Yep. Well, I guess it just shows that we're still in the realm of darkness. Suddenly. Yep. Oh man. The things disappearing. Yeah, it's like at the those weird things on the ground and the sound effects. They're still splashing around. Yeah. It's still play it's still playing um in the world theme, isn't it? Yep. Is but can we even go into the cave? Uh maybe. This world has been connected. This world has been connected. Who was that? Yeah, this is very creepy. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Like, I have, I, I have to applaud Square Enix for this because this ending is done so well. Just kind of wish the boss was a bit more. Yeah. Well, the fa the first phase is a bit more impressive, I'd say. Mm. Well, compared to the ri the later ones. Yeah, I'd say the um, this game d pulls off the ending the best out of all the games, but the other games have a more exciting boss itself. Would you even save it for the for the handhelds? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'd probably say so. Well, because like I'm thinking like either like well actually for, for, on that matter, would you say with three five eight it's would it be Shion or uh. Or, or the fight with um, with um, Riku. I'd probably say Shion, because Riku's kind of just there for, uh, for the ending. Mm -hmm. It's not really a, uh, well, it's a fight, but you know. And there's the Data Roxas fight. Yeah. And, uh, to the heart yeah. freedom. This oh, this one, or this? Prison. Yep. Surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. He sought so a way to cross getting ready to fight, like a, like a fighting game, like, a, like it was a 2D fighter. Yeah! <laughs> He's gearing up for Smash Brothers. My friends are my power! Yeah. Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again R to So darkness. rare to hear three lines of, uh, dar of dialogue there. Yeah. Begin in darkness. Imagine one that goes and for the entire screen. <laughs> The heart is no we just can't see Anthony's face anymore. Darkness yeah. Sprouts within it. It grows, consumes yeah, some of this, some of these lines here, uh, uh, Terranor actually says in, in uh, Birth by Sleep. Every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. Yeah. Also, I like Billy Zane's voice still here. He, it's still, he's probably the, the most intimidating voice on it, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. That's not true. Makes he sounds you, very, he sounds very generic in two, and, and, and Chain of Memories. It makes you really appreciate him in, as, a, as a villain in this game. Yeah, even though, even if even if this isn't the real guy that we're uh, going after, technically. Yeah. For what he is, as soon, like you know, as a first game villain. Still, you understand nothing. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. Also, good lip syncing. Yep. And now his shadow appears. I think it's called the Guardian. Well, I think, I think so. We, he keeps saying, hang, but the, it's, the, the, the shadow slash Guardian is in the attack. Right. Oh, well, it's no Breath of the Wild Guardian, that's for sure. Thank God. Oh, do me a favor. In the in post, put a, a, just for a few moments, put on the Guardian and counter theme. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can, Please. there's actually, uh, that video I showed you of, like, Boy or whatever. That's me actually uh, deflecting the Guardian's laser attack and it deals so much damage, but it's so risky. Wait, wait, 
I know, I got, oh wait, wait, you can actually reflect the laser with like a good shield time or something? Yeah, it's like exact, and it does like almost, it's like... It's a near to... insta-kill on the, on the Guardian? It's not insta-kill, like you have to do it like three times to a Roman Guardian, but yeah. Was, wait, wait, was it, did you know you could do that before, or did you just... What? I don't know what this is. Oh. It, it freeze. Oh! You gotta time it. Otherwise, he'll, he'll catch Sora. Oh, because he, uh, he, he catches Sora, you just gotta freeze yourself. Oh, okay. Or is it freeze Sora? Oh, it freezes Sora. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, it just restricts your, your, your abilities, I think. I'm not. It's not letting me do a finisher. Because, uh, why? Because of the, right, cause of the Guardian? He just attacks me. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, right the rock really is Sora's most iconic attack, I'd say. Yeah. Let's do it again. Let me just die. He just does that and just fuck off. Yeah, it's really unfortunate all these level ups don't even mean anything. You know? Yeah. Like, because, like, it, it, it's, it's double, it's double meaningless. Yeah. Because, A, we're at level 100. And, B, if this is the, this is the, uh, you know, this is the point of return. Once you finish this, you can't, and you return, and, and you reload your save file, you go back to, um, the save. Yep. I do like this, though, like, after that. Um, I think if I if I remember correctly. Yeah, you're given a moment to prepare. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah, we should probably um use an elixir actually. Yeah, let's actually use one in the items. Oh, a cottage, oh, a cottage and all that. Uh, we don't have one. Uh, ten. Um, can't make sense then. They're they're gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can well, just. Don and Goofy. Oh. Oh well. Or um, just or, or, oh yeah, they just yeah yeah uh yeah I forgot that you can't go in. But I mean, we may as well just use uh, the el elixirs because we're um done. huh? Because we're, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Look at this guy again. <laughs> Third time. Third time's charm. I'm gonna get him this time, boys. I know I can do it this time, head. <laughs> Bitch. Right? Yeah. Boy! <laughs> like, look at this. Why is this guy even here? Lol. He only hit you once, and that was only just getting eight, you know? Yeah. He didn't, he didn't even really attack. That wasn't even him really attacking. No. This is the real boss, though. So, hi. Now we get to do this fight again. It's literally the exact same thing, just without Don and Goofy. Oh, but I think, but this charge attacks him. I think yep. you can guard that. Oh, okay, that's good. But he does it really suddenly. Oh, I remember that from Chain of Memories. Which one? What that? No, that, that 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 shockwave attack? Yep. You sound annoyed from it. Well, it's not the most annoying attack, but it's just. I remember it. Oh! Aroga stops him. That's good to know. Come Gordian! Come on. Smart. He's smart. Yep. I love that. Come Gordian! Yeah. And he's doing the freeze thing again. You see Aroga will help. Yeah. I don't know how to get rid of it. That's the thing. Me either. I think, I think he just wears off when he wants it. Too. Yeah, he just does it when he wants to. Oh my gosh. At least it doesn't hurt you directly. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, what oh. are you doing? Oh, this. What do you hope to accomplish? In fact, he really. I think, I think he, um. Oh wait, I remember it wasn't in the rechain fight where he does this really annoying attack with that, like he grabs you or something from below. Um, oh no 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 no! I think the dream drop distance. Oh yeah yeah yeah. 
Oh, I hated that in tree drop distance. I guess I could ju just go longer in that fight. Wait, he, wait, in dream drop distance? Yeah. Wait, wait, did you actually, wait, was he actually really hard in dream drop? Uh... Oh, what? He, <laughs> was, he was hard, but... He wasn't as bad as I thought he would be. I... You, you kind of knew was going to do things like this, right? Mm. But they, like, wasn't, it, wasn't the fight almost very similar to this? Not direct. Well, his last phase kind of got me a little bit. Mm. You know when he's giant. Do not deny. Yeah. The final okay, I, I think that comes out in a direct X position from where um he from the way he's facing. Yeah. Get out of the way. You know. Come on. Yeah, Aroga for the win. I will not submit. Submit! You like that? No. Nope. Oh, got... Again! Yeah. Ragnarok! Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> My hair is on fire! My hair is on fire! Oh, man. This is going really good. Yep. So, still got a ways to go.